Hi Pisces, welcome to the Soul Song. My name is Nina. This is going to be your love story reading for whenever you come across it. Okay. Uh, I hope that you will find it useful. And um, these messages are valid for the next two to three weeks. Okay. So whenever you come across this video, there are likely to be messages here for you for the next two to three weeks okay i hope you're doing well i hope you're safe and sound and if you're new here do consider subscribing to the channel okay hmm. at the bottom of this deck we have vision quest this to me is about gaining clarity about what you want okay on a deeply soul level okay listening to your intuition paying attention to signs and also getting clarity about your vision for the future and for yourself okay you've got happy happy ebb and flow you've got nurturing to be fair okay and we've got imagine and sanctuary In <laughs> this is interesting okay all of us are feeling like this at the moment okay we are in isolation so that doesn't really surprise me but let me get one more card for uh what to expect in the near future okay for pisces We've got TikTok and higher power, okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have round and round, which is about um, giving uh, a second or having a second go at something, okay. In this case, of course, we're talking about your love story and what's happening, so... Maybe you're giving a second chance to something or someone that uh, you have been seeing for a while, okay? And there is this element, I feel, of, uh, re of releasing control and letting uh, things just play out the way they, they will. And also um, giving the opportunity to the universe to sort of grab the reins for a bit and releasing control of the situation you know that whole let's see where this goes kind of uh, attitude i feel like that is what you're uh, moving towards okay it's also about if you're single especially it's about uh, just being open enjoying your own company for the for a while uh, for the time being and not being in a rush not being in a hurry to um, have like a soulmate or a partner in your life okay and leaving a lot of that to god source higher power whatever it is that you uh, believe in you're also moving to a stage where you really want to manifest only the best in your life only good connections and i feel like you're really taking this time out to do that okay focusing on i'm getting like that magician sort of energy but not in a very yang way in in more of a yeah more like a high high priestess manifesting but with the help uh, with the help of the universe but also not being in a rush not being in that go 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 sort of energy okay so for those of you who have been involved with someone i feel like you're coming into this uh with a rather uh playful sort of light energy where you were just going with the flow and seeing where this takes you you know that sort of thing and currently you are you're giving whatever Whoever you are involved with, you're giving them a fair chance, you're um, nurturing the relationship. So you're being there for, for each other. But it's, it's also like, I really like seeing this because it's, 
it's telling me that it's a very balanced relationship and there is honesty here as well so you're very honest with each other about your intentions about what you want and about uh, putting in equal efforts into the relationship as well okay but um, this period of isolation I feel is going to for some reason I get that it's going to slightly shift things okay slightly change things so let's see where that is going what's happening with this ebb and flow and happy happy for Pisces okay yeah so <laughs> this is a very nice ebb and flow energy a temperance okay and the knight of cups i feel is your energy so this started off on a really light nice note where you know you have like romantic feelings with each other you're seeing where things go taking one day at a time you're chill basically and you're giving it a fair chance so that's that's nice and we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck one of my favorite cards in this deck Who is uh, Pisces dealing with? Let me get a card for that. So, who is this? So, this wanted to come out in reverse. The Knight of Wands in reverse. And the Queen of Wands. Could be an air sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Could uh, definitely be a Sag. Okay. <laughs> because we've also got the Temperance card here. So there is a lot of fiery energy as well, very passionate energy, okay? That is also what I'm picking up on, yeah. Got the Knight of Swords. So I feel like um, some of you may have been a little bit hasty as far as jumping into this relationship is concerned, okay? But you do have like feelings for this person and they do too, I feel. But it's still in the nascent stage is what I'm getting, okay? It's not a very mature um, relationship yet is what I'm getting. So what's happening with this to be fair and nurturing? Why do they want to come out? Oh! You've got the Justice card, which is exactly like this energy. The Ten of Wands. Hmm. No wonder I was feeling like there's a bit of a shift happening. Yeah. The world. Ten of Pentacles, two tens here. Ooh. And the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I was getting this feeling that some of you may be sort of, you know, um, one foot out the door, okay. The world is also telling me that, and these two tens, something could be coming to an end, okay. Um... What I'm hearing is can't keep up. I don't know what that means. Maybe the other person is very um, hasty or they are very passion driven. And uh, they want to get somewhere quickly. Maybe this other person is asking for like a commitment of some sorts which you're not ready to do at the moment. Or you could be the one asking for a commitment. And they are sort of dilly-dallying. That could be the case, okay? That could definitely be the case for some of you. But you're you're sort of weighing the situation at the moment from a very analytical, logical perspective, okay? More like an air sign. This is a Libra card, justice. And it's it's not your typical energy, which is kind of heart-led and emotional, very emotionally invested this is more of looking at the pros and cons of the situation trusting your wisdom your intellect as well to 
make a decision okay there's definitely some kind of truth some decision that is coming into focus here and i feel like one of you could be kind of tempted to move which is also why this sanctuary card is coming here i feel like um someone in this relationship feels like they've done everything they could to nurture it to give it you know to nourish it but it's it's not really it's leaving them feeling kind of spent and not really getting enough from this uh this connection is what i'm feeling okay yeah got the two of pentacles here so there is definitely some decision that is weighing on you heavily i feel okay So let's get some clarity about this sanctuary card here and imagine and where is Pisces heading towards in this connection. Six of, wow, a lot of wands, queen of cups, king of wands, queen of wands, <laughs> what is this? Could definitely be dealing with a fire sign okay I'm getting a very strong like attraction between you and this person but I don't know if that attraction is enough for you to uh, keep going with this okay the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck Oh, okay, seven of swords. I get the feeling that Pisces, you're the one who's sort of lying low. Okay, you're probably distancing yourself from this connection so that you don't need to confront them, is what I'm getting. <laughs> okay, confront them in the sense maybe it'll. It'll not go down well with them. Maybe you want to detach yourself from this person, but you can't gather the courage to do it. So you're sort of just emotionally distancing yourself and going into that little cave of yours. Um, kind of like the silent treatment, you know. That is what I'm picking up on. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. What is this Seven of Swords about? yeah got the king of cups five of pentacles four of pentacles and the eight of swords it's something i feel uh, you have been contemplating for a while and the king of swords at the bottom of the day again there's a decision making that needs to take place but uh I feel like you're resisting um, separating from this person because you're also to an extent afraid of I'm picking up on like a fear of abandonment here okay either from your side or this person's side but okay what I'm hearing is let me leave them before they leave me. So I don't know what that is about. That is for someone out there who feels like this person is going to leave them. Because they may be getting a lot of attention elsewhere. But what you want to do is sort of distance yourself and detach yourself from this person before they can do that. Human beings are so complex. <laughs> Let me get some message cards, okay, to understand what's really happening here and why, okay, so this wants to come out, I'm not feeling like myself right now, you're not wrong, but neither am I, 
cards and we've got i'm sorry i can't give you what you want and two is company three is a crowd and at the bottom of the deck we have i wish you felt for me the way i feel for you so yeah i am picking up on that abandonment fear okay I, I get the feeling that the Pisces that I'm reading for probably feels that this person is a bit out of their league, okay? And, uh, or there may be someone who cannot really be trusted um, in the sense that they might not stick around, okay? But it could also be that it's all of this is actually in your head, okay? So... I would I would communicate with them and be open about my fears because you could be self sabotaging as well Pisces okay so be careful about that um I feel like you're trying to protect yourself from abandonment and you're going into your shell because of that okay so Let's get some advice for Pisces. What is the advice for Pisces? Yeah. <laughs> Good. True love. This love is once in a lifetime. Okay. Let's get one more card. We've got two. We've got love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation relationship patterns yeah it takes strength to recognize the need for change that is what i was picking up on initially in the beginning of the reading be willing to express love express love to receive love yeah most certainly i really feel like things are not as bad as you probably imagine them to be pisces okay don't let your mind um, run uh, run away with these fears and doubts and insecurities. It could be that you're just imprisoning yourself with these fears, okay? Um, I would suggest you to be open and not definitely not self-sabotage. And before you make any sort of decision got a cancer card here as well you probably feel that this person is maybe seeing someone else okay or they have their someone else is grabbing their attention even if that is the truth i feel like it's really important for you to be open about your apprehensions to this person and let them know okay we do have a couple here the queen and the king of wands so maybe this person is kind of eyeing someone else, but it could also be just your projection, okay? Let's get one card from here about what is the way forward for Pisces. Ooh, got the Hierophant, the Seven of Wands, and the Three of Swords. I feel like you're trying to ouch and the tower at the bottom of the deck. I still feel like you can get past this um, but the truth needs to be spoken about. Okay, um, You might be trying to avoid a heartbreak with this person but um, and that's what you're trying to protect yourself against, I feel, <laughs> okay. There's definitely something that needs to change here. Maybe this person does not give you as much as you give to this relationship. There is love here. There is a lot of attraction, a lot of intensity I'm feeling sexual attraction as well 
but there is more than that okay i am feeling that there is love here but there is uh, also a lot of uh there are certain unhealthy patterns okay i feel like when it comes to communicating with each other about your innermost fears and things like that and uh, what you don't really like about what's going on or the expressing the need for change in the relationship there's a lot of hesitance as far as that is concerned okay and this i feel is from both sides okay but there is there is hope okay you can endure this provided you give it a chance but um it's entirely your choice so <laughs> i'm going to leave it here pisces and i hope you found this useful i'm wishing you all the very best i'm sending you much love and do take care of yourself i'll see you in another video god bless bye bye